Damn, Brother Gerard, what we want to do for you right now is clear up the misconceptions that were taught to you out of John chapter 3, verse 16. Right. We're going to give you precept upon precept to understand what that is. So let's read John 3, 16 for the brother. Yes, sir. All right. All praises. All praises. Did you get some understanding right there, brother? Huh? All praises. All praises. I'm glad you're following, man. So look, we're going to clear up that confusion as far as John 3, 16 goes. Because it can be, right? Especially if you don't understand who the world is, right? And what we was going over before was the fact that the Israelites were what? What happened to the Israelites in history? They were scattered. Scattered, right? All right? Read. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Uh -huh. For God so loved the world. So loved the what? The world. Right. So this is a common uh, 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 quote that you will see or you will hear Christians quoting, right? For God so loved the world that what? That he gave his only begotten son. Uh -huh. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, uh -huh. but have everlasting life. Right. So... This is a true scripture, but what is it talking about? Let's get what the world is. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Bible to further explain the Bible. All right? We're not going to gather up our own thoughts, put things together, give you some tambourines and some music, uh, hop around and dance and foam at the... We're not going to do none of that. We're going to straightly use this book to explain what it's telling you. All right, so the Bible says world, right? For God so loved the world. What world is it talking about? Read. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Uh -huh. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Right, so it says, but Israel, right? Jacob's name was changed to what, like you said? Israel, right? For God so loved Israel, but what? Israel shall be saved in the Lord. With an everlasting salvation, uh -huh. ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. Uh -huh. World without end. World without end, my brother. World without end. So it says that God so loved the world, right? And what did we just define world as? That was a world without end. Israel, all praises. All praises to the Most High. Now let's uh, jump to 46. Uh, uh, 4 and 6. Deuteronomy 4 and 6 before we go back to John. Alright? Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation and you should not be ashamed of that. Right? Because Israel is God's elect. That's why you should not be ashamed. It's not our fault the Lord chose the best pickers on the earth. The Lord made us the best. Right? We are the chosen seed of Israel. Alright? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 27 uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations And ye shall be left few in number uh -huh. among the heathen Whither the Lord shall lead you Right, so did you get what that said bro? It says the Lord will scatter us amongst all the nations So when God says he for so loved the world Where are the Israelites right now? Are they only in Jerusalem? They scattered abroad. So when he's talking about for God so loved the world, is he talking about the Edomites that are, are not his elect? Is he talking about the so-called white man that's not his elect? Is he talking about the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arab man that's not his elect, that didn't come of Jacob? Who is he talking about when he says for God so loved the world? He's talking about Israel. Why? But be Because Israel is what? Scattered amongst the world Scattered amongst the world So when he's speaking abroad He's saying for God so loved the world Why? Because Israel is amongst this world Israel is scattered He's scattered in North America He's scattered in Central and South America And Africa And uh, uh, Japan And China And Asia And all of these different places across the world That's why it says for God so loved the world Because the Israelites are scattered there Now let's go back to John the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Uh -huh. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him. So who is the world? Israel. Israel. All praises. You tracking. Good. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh -huh. Is that it? All right. So what is it talking about? What is, it, what is John 3, 16 talking about? His people, all praise. What is the nation? What is the nation? What is the nation?
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 